June 12, 1994, affluent Brentwood, California. It's 10.50 on a sweltering summer night. Jill Shively is driving west on San Vicente Boulevard when all of a sudden she has an encounter with a reckless motorist in an awful hurry. A car comes flying right by me. I saw white and I saw the flashing rims and it almost hit me. I had to swerve so we were, I was kind of behind him looking cat a corner at him. I recognized him, then he yelled at the other driver and the voice clicked, I'm like, oh, that's OJ. Nearby, two bodies lie undiscovered. A crime of horrific consequences has occurred. But it's not until the early morning hours of June 13th that the two battered and bloodied bodies are found sprawled in the courtyard of a Brentwood condo. She was stabbed uh, four times on the top of her head and also down into her neck four times and on top of her head twice. She went down very quickly. There was no blood on the bottom of her feet. He was stabbed just uh, shy of 30 times. Multiple stab wounds, very, very deep, and it was a big struggle. Police can't immediately identify the male victim, but the female victim, covered in blood, her head nearly severed from her body, is quickly identified. She is Nicole Brown Simpson, the ex-wife of former NFL superstar Orenthal James Simpson. Later, as news spreads that police have detained Simpson for questioning, fans can't quite fathom that their hero is a murder suspect. But one confidant saw it coming, Simpson's agent and close friend, Michael Gilbert. My wife, he said, you need to get to Rockingham. Nicole's been murdered and OJ's in handcuffs. First thing I said was he finally did it. 